put a border around your pages here or some color to your page, just come up here, click on the Page Layout tab, go to the Page Background group. There's Page Borders. Click on it. And this looks familiar, it should, if you watched the earlier training videos on borders and shading, because we were working on the Borders tab and the Shadings tab when it came to applying a border around our paragraphs and shading within that border. As you recall, there it is, paragraph that we're applying it to, or on the Shading tab to the paragraph, but this one is applying to the whole document around each page. So how do we go ahead and set up a border around each page? You can either come over here and click on the box, and it adds a line around, well, all the sides of each page. In fact, let's try shadow. That way we got a line around all the sides of the page, but with a little bit of shadow there. So there's the border. If you want to make some changes, add some color to your borders. Click on the drop-down arrow and say you want red. Changes it to red. But if you want one part of the border to be a different color, go ahead and click on it to remove it. Then click on the drop-down arrow, choose another color, like, I don't know, some sort of blue here and then click on the left-hand side to add a different color to that side of the page, or to that border, the left-hand side of the page. Of course, once I do that, it takes it out of shadow, and now it's a custom thing that I'm doing here. So I'm going to go back to shadow here, click on that, then the uh, color that I have selected is going to be the default color with the shadow added to it, and let's go ahead and click OK and see what it looks like. Oh, that's fun. There's the shadow there on the right-hand side. Scroll all the way down, the border for the first page. Second page, like I said, goes throughout the whole document. Let me scroll back up. To change it or remove it, again, come back up here to the Page Background group. Click on Page Borders, and then go ahead and select None. Or, if you want to get artsy-fartsy, there we go, there's some art. Click on the drop-down arrow and say you want, I really don't like these, but you may find something that looks good. Let's try apples. Uh, anyways, let me go ahead and click on the bottom to remove the apples from the bottom of every page and click okie dokie and well I suppose if it's about apple pie that would be cool let's go back up here click on page borders select none click OK we're back to where we started next if you want to add some page color in other words instead of the typical white background let's come up here click on the page color drop down arrow choose a color something well you can see as I hover over it that's what it's going to look like there on the page click on it to uh, make the selection and then of course to get it back to white click on the drop down arrow and select white background or say no color it's the same thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video